Hi there, beautiful souls. Welcome. Welcome back or welcome to The Hawk. And I, my name is Lana Zielinski and I work in the spirit dimensions. As always in all my videos, simply take what resonates and you're welcome to leave the rest right here. I'm talking today about a very interesting concept that um, requires a bit of an open mind. So as always, just take what resonates. I'm talking about reincarnation with animals. Animals do have a soul, just like us physical humans do, and there's no difference in that soul. They, just because they're an animal doesn't mean that they have a different soul. It means that their soul is having a different experience here in the physical world. Now, all living things have souls. I have done many regressions over the years where I've had some really interesting uh, stories from clients having an experience during a regression. I've had people tell me they were trees, fish, dogs, cats, humans. I've had so many glorious opportunities to learn through the work of regression, past life regressions. It's been fascinating to experience. Now, our fur babies that we connect to here, we do have a soul contract with them. Up in the spirit dimensions before we agreed to come, those soul contracts sometimes were made with souls that were going to come to us in the form of an animal. And I'm sure many of you feel, yeah, I feel very connected to this animal more than I have um, in previous years with other animals. And, you know, I really feel that I'm here to help this animal at a deep level or they're here to help me with my healing at a deeper level. Animals come to us with, with a purpose and animals are very connected to the spirit dimensions. They haven't been programmed or wired not to be. They haven't had experiences that, that explain to them that, you know, the spirit dimensions are not real. They're very connected and animals are very heart centered. So they maintain their connection to the spirit dimensions. And it's fascinating if you, you know, if you have an animal, if you tap into that, if you just watch them, you, you will see that they are very connected to the spirit dimensions. Animals see spirit. Animals are empaths. They feel very, very, very deeply. They communicate only with their heart and they come to teach and they also come to learn. Now, I have had a very personal experience with, with an animal um, about, I think it's about eight or nine years ago. I had to put down um, a dog that I had for almost 19 years. He was just shy of his 19th birthday. I loved that dog. I loved him so much. He was a big part of uh, my animal communication learning. He brought me a lot of joy. He was with me through some uh, difficult times in my life. And I, I really felt at that time frame in my life that he was sent to help get me through it. And his name, his name was Scooter. Okay. So I had to put Scooter uh, down. Um, and I, you know, grieve that little soul um, very deeply. I loved him. About uh, two and a half years ago, um, my daughter asked for a puppy and I was, um, I was a little bit resistant. I was like, oh, you know, it's, I don't know. Um, but it felt good. And I, I just kind of thought, you know what, this feels really good. The time feels right. Um, it was a very interesting story that happened. We weren't supposed to get this puppy. We were put on a wait list. Um, but a puppy became available. She was supposed to go across the border, but the adoption fell through due to a lot of restrictions with the border. So long story short, we go and pick up this puppy and it was instant. It was an instant connection. And I was like, I know you, I know you. And as you know, the months went by and you know, as a couple of years went by, I, you know, I was really aware. I was really aware of the deep similarities. You know, this puppy felt very, very much like Scooter. Her name is Luna. Um, so Luna had a very similar, like just that, that deep knowing. She also had a lot of similar behavioral traits. She, you know, she would do things exactly like the first dog did, giving me hints that, hey, I've come back. And is this possible? 100%. 100%. You know, Scooter's soul had had more learning to do and also had more um, teaching to, to bring to me. Um, and Luna, interestingly enough, has been a huge part of my animal communication. Um, and that she gave me a lot of confidence um, to kind of go forward and go deeper into this work.
with animals. So animal souls do reincarnate back to us sometimes. And what I always say is trust that feeling, trust that knowing. I mean, when we just kind of lean in there and trust that, I mean, just think about it for a moment. If you really feel that and you trust it, I mean, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? <laughs> right? You know, you know, yeah, some people might think, oh, maybe, maybe you're a little, you know, off, but just trust that our souls communicate with each other. So if you feel that, trust that. Now I have had a very, um, interesting experience uh, during regression work with a client um, who came to see me for some for a past life regression and the regression ended up turning into a reading at the end I kept I kept being pulled to channel for her so um, I channeled a spirit in the spirit dimensions um, that connected to this client um, and funny enough she sent her loved one a dog literally I said to this client did you get a dog lately and she said yeah I did and I said can I ask you a question and she said yeah of course you can I said does that dog feel very familiar and literally I could see the color kind of draining from her face she said I have never spoken this to anybody because I didn't want anyone to think I'm crazy she says to me I think it's my grandmother. If this dog just feels like my grandmother, is that possible? Is it possible that our loved ones in the spirit dimensions can come back to us in this lifetime? And the answer to that, and again, very open-minded, the answer to that is yes. The soul can come back for another journey and have another experience and reconnect to a family that they were a part of in the physical world before. Now, wait a minute now. The soul is multidimensional. So if her loved one reincarnated back into the physical world, how am I able to communicate with her? The soul is multidimensional. You, the soul can be having more than one experience. And you're, I'm communicating with the soul, not the brain, not the physical body. It's soul to soul connections. Now, another interesting question that kind of branches off from this. Well, if my... Love one in the spirit dimensions reincarnates in, back into the physical world. Will they be there in the spirit dimensions when I, when I get there? And the answer is yes. The soul, again, can be having more than one experience and we can reconnect with them. And if you think about it for just a moment, that client's dog, the, the lady will more than likely outlive the dog. So when, she, when the dog will... will more than likely pass first. So when she gets back to the spirit dimension, when the owner crosses over, the dog's soul is gonna be there. Her grandmother's soul is gonna be there. Because the soul is multidimensional, we can be having different experiences simultaneously. It is a uh, fascinating perspective. Um, and again, open mind, open heart with Okay, it's possible. You know, you don't have to uh, lean into it if it doesn't resonate with you. But the possibilities are endless and we don't truly hold all the answers. I truly don't hold all the answers. I kind of kind of learn as I go and always go in with an open mind and I listen to what spirit's saying to me and I listen to how you know how that resonates in and I even when I kind of wonder, well, that seems a really really I don't know. I've, and I've had those conversations with myself and I just remind myself that we don't hold all the answers and anything and everything is, is possible. Um, when we don't hold all, all the answers to the universe or all the answers to the spirit dimensions, I can only share the experiences that I've had working with spirit and this, and, and the soul's journey and the regression work and the, I can only share what, what, what I've experienced and, um, I've really just stayed in that allowing space of the learning in all possibilities. I do hope that this uh, video brought you um, a little bit of something to think about or maybe some validation of, oh, I knew it. I knew that my current pet felt very much, you know, familiar um, or has the same traits as another pet that I had. I, I hope that that brought you a little bit of validation if you have had that experience. And I would love to know um, in the comment section here, just leave me a comment. Have you ever experienced this? Have you ever felt that, you know, um, 
a pet has come back to you or a loved one has come back to you um, in a reincarnation feeling? Have you ever felt that? Have you ever had that knowing or have you ever, have you ever just had that, mm, you know, I think I just, I just feel that so strongly. I'd love to hear that because um, your experiences and, um, and your point of view on the soul's journey and your point of view overall means, uh, means a lot to me, means a lot to me, your experiences do. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got some really fun stuff coming up soon, um, as well as some giveaways when the channel bumps up a certain number. We are going to do a, a giveaway here on the channel. Love, light, blessings, and a spirit guided day.